And the next thing I'm going to do is tell you guys about Feed. I read this book pretty much for the entirety of July because I suck at reading and it takes me a while to read a 500 something page book. But this book is filled with awesome. You have no idea. Let's get cracking. I wrote a review, so I shall read it to you. So I actually wrote this review down, but I'll try to keep con eye contact with you guys. So a while ago I said I would review a feed for my friends because I kept reading about it, but they didn't understand what I was talking about. So I said, okay, I'll review it for you. So I began reading the book when I asked my mom if I could see what she was reading, and she handed me the book. She said she fell in love with it the first page, and the book opens in a risky situation in Santa Cruz, California, which is now zombie territory. Yes, this is a zombie book, but don't go anywhere. So it opens in Santa Cruz, where there's an idiot poking a zombie with a stick. The main character goes on to explain that the year is 2039, progressing to 2040 throughout the book, and zombies have been around for 20 plus years. They had cured cancer, and the reason zombies started was because they spread out a virus that was supposed to cure the common cold, but it also brought about what would be known as Kellis Amberley, and it's not a spoiler by the way because this happens in like the first three pages of the book. In short, the virus reanimates you or keeps your dying body until it takes over your brain and you become a walking carcass with the munchies. And minds are filled with one unstoppable command, feed. The book progresses by the characters, Georgia George Mason, Sean Mason, and Buffy, oh nice me to pronounce her last name, but it's spelled M-E-I-S-S-O-N-I-E-R. Try and pronounce it, I think it's like Mesoner? Whatever. The book progresses by the characters getting put on a political campaign because they are post-rising bloggers for their own site after the end times. Now I say post-rising bloggers because after the rising, basically everything in print kind of went So the internet exploded with blogs, so that how that worked. Um, throughout their travels, the team faced hurdle after hurdle from outside forces. Something is obviously wrong the moment the first tragedy hits the campaign. Now I'm not talking just zombie tragedies. There is sabotage, and it's insane. In a reviewing sense, and less than a synopsis, the book is near to awesome. In its original sense of awe-inspiring, that, that might be pushing it. The book is barely about zombies, which makes it all the more interesting, because the world in here has been dealing with zombies for 20 plus years. There isn't the element of, oh crap, we have to survive the zombie apocalypse that happened last week. Uh, if you're looking for that, go watch Zombie Land or play Left 4 Dead. Or you can also play on Nature on Bar because that thing is funny as shit. You won't get that in this book. Yeah, the characters face zombies or the infected, but it's not the focus of the book. I found that really appealing, like, right off the bat, but the fact that this zombie book isn't about zombies, but it is. But it isn't at the same time. Even more appealing is the way that Mira Grant writes. There's a wit nowadays, you know, after Stephanie Meyer just ruined a good percentage of brilliant writing because when such a grammar mistake written book was released, writers lost their drive. I know this because my mother's a writer, and yet she isn't published. Why? Because companies don't understand that Stephanie Meyer's book makes true readers want to vomit. But that's a story for later. So she has this wit about their conversations that's very refreshing. That writing style is basically in the dynamic between Georgia and Sean Mason. Their siblings it's hilarious and heartwarming and soaked in wonderful dialogue. People can't ask for more of her from this book. In a sense, you can relate it to Josh Whedon. Clever and humorous while still very intellectual and intriguing. Fans of Buffy or Firefly or anything by Josh Whedon, you will adore this dialogue. Aside from the style writing, the book is riddled with shocking twists. Somewhere three quarters in, it seemed impossible to trust anyone but Georgia and Sean. The book is more about a, the political campaign, and the fact turns the story on its head. There's assassination attempts, there's murder, there's betrayal, there's amplification, aka turning into a zombie. This all paint the pages of the book, and it's amazing. I honestly cried at least twice during the entire book. Most jaw-dropping shock had me bawling like a baby. If there's one thing left to say about this book that brought me to tears, it was that I believe it would actually make an incredible movie. The only problem is that Hollywood takes books and tries to take, make them into movies and then rips them apart from the inside out and they're they shit. If they can get this book down to the teeth, then I, I will be jumping to the cast and call like a hunter on a walking survivor. But alas, there isn't a way for that to happen. Besides, the book is more powerful with the blogs at the center of it all. Between each chapter, there's a blog entry. Oh, see? There's a blog entry. All in all, this book is awesome. If you pride yourself on a reader, I think you should read it. Just, just go pick it up at your local library or, or go buy it. It's only only 10 bucks. Only 10 bucks. Can you see that? Come on, buy this book. Just give it a try. It's wonderful. Zombie fans, Josh Whedon fans, book fans, 
will fall in love with this book, I promise. I'm gonna find you my favorite quote and read this from Sean. So, my beloved partner, you're doing really stupid shit for the education of the masses? Would you say I brought us another 3% today? No, that's too conservative. For I'm a god among men in a poker of unpokable places. Make that 5%. Truly, you should all worship me in the brightness of my glory. That's just how awesome Sean is. He's hilarious. Look how much I dented the spine. I'm going to read it again, by the way. That's how awesome this book is. I finished it last month, and I'm going to read it again. Even though I know everything that happens. Oh, right, this book is a trilogy. The next one coming out is Blackout. I'm so excited. You get a preview to it at the end of the paperback. Basically, like, Immortal Instruments and anything as paperback. In a more personal sense of the book, I do say that Sean was my favorite character because he was just too awesome. I do love George, though. She was another one of my favorites. George. All in all... Go read feed. Ooh. So I will see you later, either in my next vlog or the next time I post an MNT. Bye guys.